In this lesson, we will see how ChatGPT can be utilized to offer ideas on how to differentiate your content. Let's say you finished a whole unit, but now you want to extend the learning to a project. ChatGPT can be used to offer different ideas for those projects. Or let's say you want to have stations for a certain topic. ChatGPT can be used to offer ideas on how to reach your diverse learners. In this example, we will use middle school healthful living and high school civics. In this demo, we're going to first focus on a sixth grade healthful living course. Let's say you just taught a whole unit on nutrition and you want to further engage your students with a project. So here I am in my state standards and I know this is the standard that I just taught. So I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to tell it to create three different projects options for my sixth grade healthful living course. And I want to be specific to, and make sure it is aligned with the North Carolina state standard 6.NPA.1. I also want to add in there to make these project options varied to provide some voice and choice and variation for my students when they're picking these. As you can see, it is generating three different responses. Number one is a healthy recipe book. Number two is a fitness challenge. And number three is a mind, mindfulness and stress management toolkit. You also see that it provides an objective, a description, and how it is aligned with that standard that you gave it. In the next example, we're gonna take one from high school civics, and we're gonna focus on the three branches of government. But instead of a project, we're gonna ask ChatGPT for stations for the standard that I'm teaching. So here I am in CMAP, I know exactly what standard I'm going to take. So I'll go back to ChatGPT, and I'm gonna tell it to create three different station options for my high school civics course. I wanna be specific and tell it to focus on the three branches of government. I also wanna tell it what state I'm in and what standard I'm teaching to make sure it aligns with it. Here you can see it is creating three different stations. Each of these is on the different branches. First one is on the legislative branch. Then you have one on the judicial branch. And then finally you have one on the executive branch. Something that I like about this is it gives you an objective, a description, and how it is aligned with that standard that you gave it. So let's say this is great, but you want another option. I'm gonna tell it to provide an alternative option for the executive branch. And here you can see I have a different option given to me for this branch of government. So you have the option to either use this one or the one that it gave you prior. And once again, it'll give you a description and how it is aligned with the standard that you gave it.